It turns out that not every questionable art transaction has an unhappy ending. Consider this postcard from London from our Elizabeth Palmer. John Myatt, master forager, is happy to share the tricks of his trade. Oh, here is just a cup of coffee, very strong coffee, rubbed into the, into the Hessian. After all, these days, everyone knows his masterpieces are fakes. I think it's very interesting to look at the people looking at the paintings and kind of getting the joke. I love to see that smile crack out over their face before they move on to the next painting. But it wasn't so funny back in the early 1990s when Myatt, then a near-broke single father, ran this ad in a magazine. A sophisticated con man, John Drew, spotted it and set up a scheme to sell the paintings as genuine. Myatt never expected the scam to work so well. Down with the hammer and I just got up and walked out and I, I felt ter I felt, oh, I felt terrible. Eventually, the pair were caught and sent to jail. Drew got six years, Myatt won, but he was released after four months for good behavior. In fact, they actually said, um, you should stay in prison a bit longer because you're a good influence on the rest of them. <laughs> you didn't jump at the Very chair. kind offer, <laughs> officer. But, you know, I think I'd rather go home. And home he went, depressed. Then the police officer who'd investigated him commissioned a painting. Five years later, Myatt's first London show was a triumph. Thanks to John, I have a Matisse in my kitchen. <laughs> and a Picasso in my loo. The chairman of the jury that convicted him bought a Matisse too. Myatt's notoriety has added value to his works, and now each one is carefully identified as a fake. These paintings are signed as the artists, not as you. On the front. Ah. On the you... back, you've got, quite often you've got a computer chip, which actually is embedded on the canvas, which you can't get rid of unless you want to cut a big hole in the canvas. Ain't misbehaving, I'm sick. John Myatt isn't misbehaving anymore, but many of his misdeeds live on. Scotland Yard detectives think about 120 of his forgeries are still prized as genuine in art collections around the world. It's a hard time for the